time for Coffee on the Coast. Good morning and welcome to this episode of Coffee on the Coast. I'm your host this morning, Tina Priggy. So excited to welcome to the show, Brian Portson, Executive Director of Painting Pathways and Joanne Will from Painting Pathways. Good morning and welcome to the show, you guys. Good, Good morning. morning. Good morning. And this is exciting because not only do we get to have this fun conversation on a Thursday morning, but we're having this conversation because you've got a special event coming up. It's the first time you're having this event and we want people to know, A, that they're welcome to attend and that they can take home some incredible art by attending, right? Absolutely, yes. Okay, so let's dive in with the details first. So sure. people know that we're talking about a fusion of senses. Brian, what do you want them to know? I want them to know that this is open to everyone. It's like a regular art show. Uh, and and what's different about it, though, is that it is mostly art from our members in the Painting Pathways uh, Clubhouse. And M Painting Pathways Clubhouse is a, is just a program where people with that mental health concerns can come and do creative wellness, can can cook, can talk with people, uh, and and just join in kind of in a community. So we've been around 14 years. So over the years, there's been some great creations. And this is going to be our chance to kind of put all that out there for the community um, and, and help support our mission as we as we reach further into uh, Manitowoc. Yeah, so you're doing really important work at the clubhouse. And as you can see behind you, there's already some incredible art on display. So I love the concept that you said it's going to be like an art show. So there's no, did I understand that correctly? No fee to attend the show. Anyone can come and browse around and enjoy the art? Yes, ex ab absolutely. It, there's uh, going to be some hors d'oeuvres and there's a cash bar, but just you're just walking around and enjoying the art. There's opportunities, a variety of different things that our members have created over the years uh, that will be for sale. Um, and just a chance to join together and meet some members, meet some community members, meet some of our members who are part of the community and uh, just enjoy some art and enjoy community. Okay, so viewers, you do wanna mark your calendar. This is Thursday, March 30th. It is happening at the venue at Union Square right here in downtown Manitowoc. So a beautiful location. It's called A Fusion of Senses. Doors open at 5.30 and then you've got an oral auction at 7 p.m. So that means people have chances to actually purchase the art and take it home. Yeah, there's a, there's a number of different ways to purchase it. I think what we've done is put up some special art for the live auction and the silent auction. Uh, the live auction is going to be uh, actually operated by two professional auctioneers. So it'll have that same sort of uh, fun of the of the rattle, rattle, rattle. And uh, um, so it, so that'll be the live auction. But then there's a silent auction that'll that'll be throughout from the 530 to I think about eight, where you have a chance to silently bid on a number of pieces of art. And there's some other things that have been donated. We have a pair of diamond earrings that have been donated from an anonymous source uh, that are estimated value of $1,500. So things like that will be available too for people to, to bid on. And what's great is, so not only can people take home these incredible items, right? The artwork, mm -hmm. members, other pieces of art or items that have been donated, but then they are raising funds for Painting Pathways Clubhouse, right? So it's, it's doing good and getting this like extra bonus of having the beautiful thing to take home. Why is it important for people to support your mission at Painting Pathways Clubhouse? Yeah, I think at this time in Manitowoc County, the need for mental health services is um, is very, very, very large. And one of the things about Painting Pathways is we are the only non-clinical mental health resource in Manitowoc County, which means we don't have therapists here, we don't have psychiatrists here, but we have members who are trained to uh, work uh, in with people that are struggling as well as staff. Um, and we have a lot of different activities here. Part of that is just that getting back into that routine of life, getting back into feeling that there's places that you can go to, to be yourself as well as create new things or share things with, with other people. We have a garden that will be going up in the summer. Um, and we really want to reach out. We're going to be making an extra effort to reach out to to those uh, young people that are transitioning into adulthood. That's an area in Manitowoc County that is highly underserved. And um, we want to, 2023, that's going to be one of our big focuses. Um, so 
I imagine post COVID too, right? We've got a whole generation of COVID kids yeah. where I can really see how that could be beneficial. Yep. Okay, yep. so you mentioned a term, you said creative wellness. So I interpret that as members creating art, pursuing their art in the pursuit of wellness. Does that sound right? Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> so Joanne, tell us more. You are an artist. I, I just want to put up like, for example, you're a photographer. This is one of your photos. This is incredibly beautiful. Is this going to be available at the auction? Absolutely. I will have one um, at my own table and that will be out for, for, um, for sale. So um, um, I've never had um, um, one of my um, photography pictures um, pic um, like purchased before. I've been featured in like other like books like our you know capture wisconsin and our wisconsin magazine but it would mean a lot and it would just be the highlight of my life i think <laughs> to have um you know um, my some of my photographs purchased and i think i will have about i think there's going to be like about maybe six seven them of them for sale um at at the at the venue yeah viewers let me just put up a couple of others Joanne, this work is beautiful. This is incredible. Um, and it seems like, would you say these are all relatively local? Yes, um, except that one with the, um, the, um, the water. That one was taken in Arizona, but all of them are local. Wow. Yes. Very beautiful. Okay, so you're a photographer. How does it feel when you're taking photos? What does that mean to you? Um, to me, getting the, the the great photograph feels like a runner's high. You know, it's like after you, for people, it's like for people that are runners, you run a marathon and it's like, you got that medal hanging around your neck. Well, for me, getting that that photograph, that's that just, it, to me, that feels like that medal hanging around my neck. And do you know, like at the time that you're taking the shot, are you like, yes, that was the shot? Or do you have to wait until you, uh, you know, review everything? I don't always know. Um, sometimes I, I think, oh, that's a really good shot. And I come home and I'm like, no, not really. <laughs> so um, so I take like lots of different different shots um, in different places. You, you just never know where you're going to come up with that magic photograph. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Um, I just I just want to put this up again because I'm just in awe of the beautiful white frost and how it offsets the orange. And then there's like the mottled fall colors in the background. It just has everything going for it. Yes, thank you. So that, that actually that was when one of the photographs I first started taking when um, back in 2009 when I really didn't know what I was doing. Um, so I thought, <laughs> and actually that year I, that won the Fox 11 falls color, color, color fall, fall contest. So, and it was, it had that contest had thousands of photographs. So and that's I managed cool. to win. I, I want a new camera for that one with that <laughs> photograph. <laughs> that's cool to know. So this is an award winning photograph that people will have the opportunity to purchase at Fusion of Senses. Yes. Very cool. And did you also say that some of your images have been in our Wisconsin magazine? Yes, absolutely. That's so fantastic, Joanne. Okay, what else should people know um, about the event coming up? Well, um, they should know that they can come any way they want to come. And um, it's an opportunity to really support a really worthwhile cause in, in Manitowoc. Um, and an opportunity, as you can just in Joanne just talking about how powerful that is for her to be able to create something and have other people possibly purchase it and admire it. Um, and we have probably four or five artists that are going to be um, showing their work and talking about it. And for some of them, um, quite honestly, one of the impetuses for us doing this were a lot of our folks are like one bad thing happening away from uh, homelessness or from a real strong left turn in their life. And so this is an opportunity for them to possibly earn some income so they can kind of dig themselves out of some things that have happened. Um, using their art. And that's that's one of our goals here too, is really to, for the folks that are ready for it, that to help them be entrepreneurs, to help them create a business or ways that they can support themselves doing the things that they love. 
uh, you know, traditional jobs are not always for everybody, and they're especially difficult sometimes for folks with with mental health issues. So this is an opportunity for them to to be able to test that water a little bit, and for us to be able to support them with the support of the community, and we're we're pretty excited about it. So. So many good reasons to support this event. So yeah. in addition to like the incredible photography that Joanne will have on display, I know that there's other artworks. We've got a sample here. Yep. Um, there's some great mosaics that have been done. Um, we have some stone work that's been done. Um, straight up paintings that have that are just, you know, scenic sort of paintings, as well as ones that are that are powerful representations of of where someone was at at a certain period of time with their mental health and and the struggles um and and those for me are some of the most valuable work that we have uh, so and there's a whole range of of work that we're going to be able to put out there for people to to buy to to support and a number of people that have done th uh have done some artwork in the past are just excited to know that someone else will have an opportunity to appreciate their work, take their work home and put it up in their home. I mean, that is that you, the smiles on people's faces when they, when they talk about that, it's, it's really special. I love it. And did I notice that you have entertainment as well? Yeah, a local uh, piano player, uh, Joey O'Connor is gonna be there. And um, he's taking a break from Lawrence University and coming over and, and playing piano. So we're really fortunate to have him. He's just a fantastic musician. Oh, he is, and he's so young. Yeah. And the fact that he's at the level that he's at, what a great experience here in Manitowoc that you can have that performance while you're seeing yeah. this art display. It's it's really the perfect combination. Yeah, it is. And that's why it's called a fusion of senses, really. We're going to have you know the art. We're going to have uh, one of our, our members is a poet, and we're going to have some of his poetry available. Um, and the Joey O'Connor and piano, uh, as well as some good food. Uh, that's going to be surprised. Some of it's going to be made here and some of it by uh, um, Wrap It Up. Oh, very nice. And did, yeah. did you say too that some of the artists will be talking about their work? Like, is there, are there certain times that people should be prepared if they want to catch that? No, I think that'll be just available throughout the event uh, until the live auction happens. And then that, that'll, that'll take over for a little bit, but okay. I think it's gonna be throughout the event. So do people go home with artworks that they've won the bid on that night? Yes, oh yeah, that'd be, yes. And we have ways to to accept uh, credit cards and, and cash and, and checks, so it's not, um, you can get it all done that night. And we have some great community artwork. I mean, Jason Priggy has donated a piece. Do you know him? <laughs> I, know, I thought you would, I thought you would. Um, and uh, Bonita Budish has donated a piece and a couple other local artists have donated some stuff. So uh, it's really kind of a community event for us. That's incredible. You know, it really does take a village and I'm glad to know that there is mm -hmm. so much support. Yeah. I wanna let people know that this event, A Fusion of Senses, is going to be March 30th. It's 5.30 to 8.30 p.m. at the venue. There is no charge to attend, but do bring a pocket full of cash so that you can purchase some of this incredible <laughs> art. Brian, if someone is watching and they, they're they like, you know what, I think I would benefit from what's going on at Painting Pathways, yeah. yep. how can they connect with the organization? You, you can go to our website, www.paintingpathways.org. You can give us a call, uh, 952, 9, 920, excuse me, 920-652-9952 and set up an appointment to come on in and we try to see people as quick as possible and um yeah so we would love to have people stop in that's why we're here and you know when i came in about a year ago it seemed like it was the best kept secret in manitowoc because no one really knew about us because i think part of it is our name but uh, and and there's a huge stigma with mental health so i guess that's part of the issue too so but um no we just want to get out there and let people know that we are available um we're not just about art we're about community we're about support um, exploring wellness for you, whatever, whatever form that takes. And um, we're here for nice. users. Is some of the creative wellness, is it guided? For example, is there somebody that is, you know, teaching some of the concepts? Is it more self-pursuit? How does that work? Yeah, it's right now it's more self-pursuit, but we do have some members who are pretty talented who will work with people and help them uh, 
make some of the creations that they want to make. We're hoping in the near future to get some volunteers and some members who will kind of have classes and have uh, sort of opportunities to share some of their work. Um, we had a poor painter um, come in and share his craft with us. I think there was like seven or eight members that came to that. And uh, that was a, that was a really fun event. So we're hoping to do more things like that. Um, we also have a, a Macintosh uh, Apple iMac, and we're really hoping that uh, people will start using that for video creation, for music creation, for podcasts that they, so different ways that people kind of can kind of express themselves. We have a writing class that happens on Fridays um, that is loved by some of our members. Mm. Yeah, and it's, and it's so exciting just to see some of that stuff come out to, and just to see the excitement that people. So there's a and, and if people come in and say, I want I usually do this. Can I do this here? Yeah, let's talk about it. Let's see if we can expand even further. You know, our goal is to meet people where they're at. So yeah. you just come on in and and so we'll go much good stuff going on. OK, what if someone isn't available or able to attend the event? Right. I feel really sorry for them if they're not able to, but if they're not, are there other ways, you know, after the fact that people can interface with purchasing the art and the other creations of members? Yes, and that's one of the things that we've now geared, geared up to be more retail if we needed to be. So we have that availability to us all the time now. So, and we will do, we have a space here that we've been using, we're in this room right now, which is, is gonna be some of our retail space. I mean, we have some beautiful gift cards that um, kind of writing cards that have our member art on them. So you know, people don't have to spend a lot of money to really enjoy uh, our members artwork yeah. and support what we're doing at the same time. So um, those will be available too. So. Yeah. What a great way to support your efforts. Joanne, let's just talk a little bit again about your art because it is so beautiful. Are you self-taught? I am all self-taught. Like I said, I, I didn't really know what I was doing. It was just by trial and error that I learned to do what I did. Yes. Yeah. And I, I just kept trying. I enjoyed it. And so and the more I enjoyed it, the more I, you know, I'm like, I just apply things, try different things, you know, changing, whether it's changing your shutter speed or however, you know, your exposure, however you want to change it. I mean, the sky is a limit. And and you and you can also edit it, you know, um, you know, digital editing is is also another huge <laughs> component to it. And you can the sky is a limit. The sky is a limit. Yeah. I love how you describe that when you really get a great shot, it feels like that runner's high. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. There's nothing more than being able to share your photos that you know that you you took pride in and, and sharing with them and you know getting feedback from others that they also enjoy them as much as you do i mean it's it's a great feeling and there is something really special about being able to view the art you know the original art created by somebody else right to see these different photos and to think about you know what you had to go through to get the perfect shot or you know what an artist did to apply these strokes and make the color choices and to see them all on display as an exhibit i love that and i love that you're doing this here in manitowoc and one more time i just want to tell viewers you have a chance to see this for yourself it's painting pathways a fusion of senses this is their first possibly first annual uh, event, and it's March 30th, 5.30 to 8.30 p.m. at the venue. All are welcome, and your support will support the mission of Painting Pathways Called House. Yes. Yes. Does that about sum it up? Is there anything else that we should let viewers know? I don't think so. Just be there and uh, have fun. Yeah, have and fun. we look forward for, to seeing you there. Yes, thank you, Joanne. <laughs> yes, well <laughs> said. <laughs> well said, Joanne. Awesome. Well, <laughs> Brian Portson, Joanne Will, Painting Pathways Clubhouse, thank you so much for joining us this morning on Coffee on the Coast. It was a super pleasure, and we're looking forward to seeing you at the Fusion of Senses, March 30th at the venue. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching Coffee on the Coast. We'll see you next time.